What's going on guys? My name is Tom from Red Labs and today I'm going to show you how to create a pixelated logo typeface in Photoshop. Alright, so I know there's another tutorial on my channel where I create pixelated logos, but this one is going to be a little bit different. A private student of mine sent me this picture and um, asked me how to do the certain effects, so I tried to dabble around with it and today I'm going to show you the process of it. So let's just start by creating uh, some text. Uh, Alright, so if you don't know, when you open the type tool, uh, there is um, an anti-aliasing uh, option here. And you might be wondering, what is anti-aliasing? And I'll uh, zoom in for you and show you what this is. So uh, if you see here, the, if you look here, the curves uh, are kind of like going smooth with some transparent pixels around the edges. Um, so if I click on the anti-aliasing and I click none, You'll see that it's just like black and white pixels here. There are no like transparent pixels. There's no like smooth transition. Um, and actually that's what we're gonna use here to create a typeface. If you look at it now, it's way too big. And if you zoom out, you can't really even see the effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and scale this down. And if we zoom in, uh, you'll see that it's getting more and more pixelated uh, the closer or the smaller we get. So I think this should be fine. Uh, and basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna apply some effects to recreate the effect that we, uh, we would like. So I'm gonna go and make my text black. And I'm gonna add a stroke. And I wanna add another stroke with a black background. And let's see if we succeeded in that by creating some purple background. All right, so I wanna have the background here pixelated as well, and how we can do that easily by going with the blend mode from normal to dissolve. Um, so if we uh, look at the size of this, uh, it's pretty small. The width is only 300 pixels, so if you would want this for an artwork, it, it's kinda complicated to uh, use this actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select both of these and convert them into a smart object. Uh, and as you can see, it gets kind of blurry and that's because we increase the size of this into a smart object. Um, so there are a couple of ways we can just uh, get this back to normal. As you might know, the threshold uh, option does kind of something similar to uh, what the dissolve does and the non anti aliasing effect. Uh, so let's just put a threshold adjustment layer on here and make sure that all of our stuff is visible. Let's just duplicate this one first and hide it and convert this into a smart object. Okay, so we can actually delete this. Uh, I was just testing some stuff out, but what we can do now is if we just rasterize this and we'll go to our fill tool or our paint bucket tool, sorry. Uh, we can turn off anti-aliasing and we can start filling our stuff in. Right, so now that we basically have everything filled in, um, you probably see that there is a lot of uh, like smaller white uh, smudges around the edge. Uh, if you would like to remove these, you can just double click this, go to the layer and hold other option and drag this one in. And the further you drag it in, uh, the further it starts to disappear, as you can see. Um, so if you wanna make this permanent, what you can do is you can just go and right click and convert it again to a smart object. And there we have it, our pixelated logo uh, with the anti-aliasing option. So if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them down in the comments or you can join us on Discord. And I wanna take the time in this video to thank my patrons. Uh, because of my patrons, I am able to make more videos for you guys, more Instagram guides and more content in general. Uh, so if you don't know, if you become a patron of Dread Labs, uh, you'll get access to all of my project files, a 15% discount in a Dread Labs web shop, as well as a Discord privilege as a Dreadlabs Insider. So if you want to become a patron, there is a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.